What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. Today's video, we're going to talk about cold air intakes. Um, I've never had one in this Jeep. A lot of people say they like them. A lot of people say they uh, freaking hate them. They don't do anything. So we're going to see. I didn't want to go ahead and spend 300 bucks on a nice K&N. So I went to eBay and bought a freaking $40 Chinese uh, little cold air intake. Very simple, easy, and uh, hopefully we get some gains, but we'll see. And I'll talk a little bit about this this mesh cover here in a minute. Um, exactly what that's for and why I highly recommend them. But before we install this guy, um, we're going to check the intake temp on the stock intake system. Uh, so I'm going to close the hood, let it get up to temp, and then I'm going to check the intake temp opposed to the ambient temp. That way when we go back with this new one, we can check the same way. I'm going to do the same... Uh, both can be idling sitting here outside the wind. Um, don't really want to do it when I'm driving because all that there's so many different factors on temperatures under hood temps. So uh, gonna let it get up the temp, check the ambient temp, and then check the intake temp with the little code reader I have. Uh, we're gonna do that for the stock and then for the cold air intake to see if it actually brings in any colder air or if it's just better airflow. Then after I install it, I'm gonna take a four hour drive home so I really get the feel before I make the final say is if this thing's worth it or not. Um, so I'll be doing city driving, highway driving, uh, and then you know I'll do some hard pulls and uh, you know, see if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and get all the stats on this uh, the stock one and then do it. Go ahead and install it. All right, so let's take a look at the stock setup real quick. I mean, it's pretty simple. It comes right out of your throttle body, and if you look on the 3.8, it really does kind of. Uh, get real thin underneath here if you go and feel yours it uh this stock intake pipe gets pretty thin so I mean it might be a little restrictive then we're gonna come over here to our air box and we can see it gets the air suction from pretty close to the edge of the hood which is gonna be a pretty cool place so we know that we're getting air from the outside which can be relatively cool compared to the outside or the under hood temps this guy replacement is gonna put our air filter right here where the box is so it's gonna want to draw air from this whole area so are the temps gonna be cooler I really don't know yet there's no telling until we actually test our intake temps I'm gonna look at this guy real quick uh, I think yeah three inch three inch aluminum piping tubing got the silicone uh, clamps hose clamps all that stuff and underneath this filter is just your normal uh, little cold air intake filter but let me talk about this uh, this real quick. So I got this on Amazon. There's a lot of different companies that make it. But what it is, it's a very, very fine mesh. It's like a pre-filter. Um, so it's going to keep out any mud splashes or water splashes. The one big thing I hate about cold air intakes is that you have a filter sitting out here in the open. Um, I know a lot of the newer systems, K&M, they do have some type of air box. That's one good thing about the stock systems and those other systems is that you have an air box. What that means is if you go through a huge puddle and water comes up here and splashes on it, you don't have a filter that's just going to suck it straight into the engine and hydrolock your engine. So uh, that's one downside to these uh, you know, cheaper filters or cheaper systems. If you do get an open, open filter system like this, get one of the pre-filters, preferably one that stops water. Naturally, if you submerge this in water, it's definitely not going to freaking stop it. But water drops, splashes, will run right off this little pre-filter. And I think they're around 16 to 20 bucks. It's definitely worth it. And I mean, like I, like I said earlier, if you're submerged, it's not going to freaking stop it. But if I'm to the point where water is like above my fenders screw it I'm grabbing my camera I'm grab grabbing my gun and I'm abandoning ship I don't I'm not freaking going in water that deep no I'm swimming out of that hole engines off and I'm I'm gone all right guys so while we're waiting for the engine to warm up I want to talk about a few things I have planned for the channel uh, I really want to start doing like a monthly giveaway uh, for like an example this time cold air intake kit work good I'd love to be like oh throw your name in the comments if you want to be entered to win the kit or win a kit but before I do that, you know, uh, I want the channel, I need the channel, I, I need things from you guys. Um, 
I'd like to be able to use my YouTube earnings to go towards that. Um, yeah, everybody knows that YouTubers do get paid for making videos, um, but it's not much. Penny and dimes. Um, but I'm getting close to be able to start doing something like that. You know, 50 or 60 bucks a month, do some giveaway. Um, but how do YouTubers get paid? It's from the ad in the beginning. So, you know, if an ad pops up for a video, you know, if, if, it's, if you're watching a channel that you really like, help them out, watch the ad. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to skip every ad all the time. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that in the future, hopefully in a couple months, if, you know, if I start making a little more on YouTube, I'm going to start doing some giveaways. Um, so, sorry, I'm just talking, waiting for the engine to warm up, so, blabbering. But, uh, let me talk a little bit more about this intake kit that I got. Alright, so this, uh, like I said, I got it on eBay. I want to say it was like it was 40 or 44 bucks or something, free shipping. Got here in a couple days and uh, came unassembled, but the assembly is super easy. You have your uh, little reducer silicone hose, goes from 3 inch to 2.75 for the JK uh, throttle body. You have all your hose clamps, a hose, little fitting came pre installed for the hose, your air filter, and uh, a little universal mounting bracket. What this is gonna do is once I find out where we're gonna mount it, it's gonna mount under this hose clamp and then you can, uh, just to support the weight of the filter, mount it somewhere. And one of the things comes with a little grommet for the uh, intake temp sensor. Um, but yeah, that's it. it. Comes. I mean, you can get a black one, blue one, red one. I just went with black because I don't like super showy stuff unless it's supposed to be showy. You know, the $40 intake is not that. Hopefully this will uh, this will work good and it'll be a budget friendly option. Now, one thing I would add, this was talking about earlier with the open open filter. This is that water guard, and it just it simply slides right over it. Um, if you are going to go with a system, sorry, if you are going to go with a system that does have an exposed filter like this, just just please 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 get one of these priest filters, one that's specifically made for water. Um, just, I, I hate seeing people hydrolock the engine when they suck in water through these, uh, through those open filters. So, at the minimum, get this, or try to get a boxed system. So, let's go check on the engine, see if it's nice and hot. Alright, so uh, I've let it sit here for a while and it's finally settled out. Outside temps, 49 degrees. Intake temps, 104. So, I mean, we're looking at a, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll say 50, you know, 55 degree difference. Uh, with the stock, yeah, it's jumping around a little bit, but there's a lot of factors that come into play here. Uh, if you have a hood louver, that's going to drop your underhood temps a bunch. If there's any wind, that's going to lower your intake temp. And this is all at idle. Uh, you know, what, like I said earlier, once you're driving, it throws it off completely too. But I'm just using this as a baseline to compare the cold air intake to the stock intake. We're going to say 55 degrees difference between intake and ambient. All right, so once we have our new intake mounted up here onto the throttle body, I'll go ahead and mount this hose. You can either reuse your old factory hose that we took off or use the new one, up to you. I'm gonna use this new one, go ahead and slide it on the, uh, the valve cover over there. And then we're gonna mess around with the position of our air filter. Uh, I'm probably gonna twist it down a little more. Um, I'm looking at a few things right here. So down there you can see where my uh, inner fender liners are. There's, uh, sorry it's not really focusing. Down there it's mesh, so it's gonna bring in a lot of good airflow. Also, it's gonna be an area for splashing. Right there. So I really have to make sure that water's not gonna get through this and come up here. Once again, that's where this guy will come help out a little bit, but I really don't wanna mount this too low you know turned down so it sits in the hole I really want it to sit up as high as I can get it um, so yeah also looks like the mounting bracket that it came with it's gonna tuck under this hose clamp and I'll probably have to drill a hole down I'll get a better shot in a minute but down here on this just to support this from flopping around like that but overall looks like it fits pretty good I'm gonna angle it down a little bit and then uh, 
get that mounting bracket set up and then uh, go test her out. Uh, we're gonna have to pull our old sensor out of here. Uh, you should tug it out and then plug it in the new uh, new grommet over there. All right, so this grommet is extremely tight trying to fit this sensor in. So, uh, and of course I'm at my mom's house and I don't have any like silicone or lubricant, but using some awesome canola oil, I'm gonna spray the grommet and hopefully, uh, oh, this guy will slide in. Oh, come on, yes, okay. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need some type of uh, lubricant, WD-40 grease, anything, silicone, or, I mean, I guess I can recommend uh, canola oil, because that just worked. But uh, yeah, I'm at my mom's house and she has no tools, obviously. Um, and I did realize that I'm gonna need a drill to drill out holes right there down there for the mounting bracket. So I'll probably have to swing by my dad's house or call him, have him come over with the drill so we can drill a hole and uh, mount that bracket up there to hold it up. But now that's that, now that 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 is done, we're gonna plug in the sensor and uh, that's pretty much it until we uh, put the mounting bracket on. All right, so it's mounted up. I don't have the bracket secured yet. Need to wait for my dad to come over with his drill. Drill a hole. Uh, ended up, I'm gonna mount it. A little, uh, that little tab underneath this hose clamp. Going down pretty much to right there. It's super easy to bend. And uh, it's really thin plastic down here. Just drill a hole and then put the, put the bolt and nut through. But this is how it is. It's gonna sit just like this. Tucked right up there similar to the factory location but it's still around the same temp out so I'm gonna close the hood and then do the same thing let's compare idle temps see if this is getting any it bringing in any more cool air or if it's gonna be the exact same exterior temp is still 49 degrees and looky here we're reading 95 now before is about 105 um, so not too much of a difference but it is definitely cooler uh, temperature outside stay the same. It's you know only been about 25 minutes. So I mean I might be saying that Hector, the guy running three spoon engines with the Motec exhaust, might be onto something with these fancy cold air intakes. All those Honda Civics out there just pushing mad power, super cold air from all those cold air intakes. I don't know. Might be too early to tell, but it's definitely sitting seven degrees colder uh, all right guys so we're back home uh, it was about a four hour drive and then also the next day went down to virginia beach which is an hour and a half drive go there jeep event uh virginia beach jeep fest so if you're in the area stop stop by next year it's usually in april uh, right at the beginning of april pretty cool luckily one uh four-door modified class for this ugly beast uh, so that was pretty cool won this sick hat as well as a uh, little recovery strap. But, let's to get down to business, talking about this cold air intake. For 40 bucks, definitely worth it. Uh, I've noticed a lot of uh, the throttle response is a lot better. You know, you give it gas, you notice it instantly. I'm not gonna say it adds a whole bunch of power, because it doesn't, but it's noticeable right off the throttle with the response, and then up at the higher RPMs, above 3500, you really notice that the engine just wants to keep going a little bit stronger. Um, I'm not going to say it's a cold air intake, definitely is not super cool, uh, just because the aluminum, it, it's, it absorbs heat. A plastic one, some of the more expensive ones that have the fancy plastic, might be better, might draw in cooler air just because it's not going to heat up that intake pipe as much. Um, but for 40 bucks, it's definitely worth it, which almost makes me believe, hey, you know, maybe the $200, $300 ones are worth it. You might get even more performance opposed to out of those opposed to these forty dollar ones. So it's up to you. You know, if you have if you have the money for the nice ones, I'd say do it. But if forty dollars is more your style, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, the bracket that holds it on is a little cheesy, but uh, if you wanted to upgrade that, it wouldn't be too hard to go to Lowe's and get some aluminum uh, and bit it up and make your own bracket. But for forty bucks, I'm impressed. I get forty bucks plus the twenty dollar cover, so right around sixty bucks. And like I said earlier, definitely don't do this. Uh, the open filter without that uh, the water guard or pre-filter so we'll take a few looks of it looks at it um, I'll fire it up so you guys can hear it it's an it's a cold air intake so you hear that suction more than the factory one 
Um, at certain RPMs, it does have a slight whine to it. Uh, just, I mean, that's natural with these things. You're, not, you're gonna get more air movement through them, so you're gonna hear a little more whine. That's one good thing about the, the stock one, is it's quiet, you don't even know it's there. Once you start getting these high performance intakes, you're gonna hear a little more noise. But it's pretty cool, you know, you get on the gas and you hear more noise, so sounds like you have a better engine under the hood. So, in the end, is it worth it? Yep. Uh, but, I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, check out the other videos, and, uh, you know, just wait for more. We got another adventure series coming up, going up to Roush Creek this weekend. Not camping, so uh, none of that footage, but we're going to have a great time. Uh, hopefully get some good mooling in. So uh, that video will be posted probably in two weeks because it takes forever to edit those things. But uh, let me do a little walk around with the quarter intake so you guys can see it. And uh, if you have any questions, throw it in the comments below. Thanks.